Alright, hello everybody. Today we're going to be going over a sort of different thing in my video. We're going to be going over what uh, what I can do in my mythic ethereal attempts uh, to actually improve my gameplay. So this is just our last attempt we had on Ren Farrell for Thursday night. Um, so I'm just going to be going over here looking at what I do in this encounter and where I can improve. So the first thing I'm doing here is I'm popping Rapture to make sure I have powered shields out on as much of the raid as possible, just so nobody dies during during the uh, feeding time. Um, as soon as the boss comes back, we're DPSing him, making sure we get as much damage going out, uh, because as a disc priest, that's what you are. You're a hybrid damage dealer healer. Uh, so during this, fight, during this fight, I am raid leading, so I have a lot to pay attention to uh, that's not just my rotation. Um, so I generally... Try, like think that I play pretty sloppy so it's always good to go back and uh, see where I can improve so for this first for this next feeding time my goal here is to pretty much make sure that the two people who are webbed together they have power shield on them so as you can see I power shield locky swappy uh, preemptively and I don't think I actually get a power shield on Anemonia, so that is a fault on my part. So what I'm actually focusing on doing here is making sure I get as much healing on Suzarine, um, because he had the rot when he was running out, and uh, I only managed to get about two pleas onto him while we're running. If I had a powered shield, maybe another plea, he might have survived. So that is something I could have done when we're running across, just making sure I'm topping up those uh, the people with the rot so they don't die to the uh, feeding time there. Um, so the important thing for what's coming up now is when the, the knockback comes, I want to make sure I have a lot of atonements going out. Um, so what I do here is I'm calling out for who needs to be gripped. And as you can see there, I, I grip across somebody now, I gripped across Arashi, and then I don't have any atonements out. So I need to make sure before there, but rather than focusing too much on who I need to grip, I need to be making sure I am casting atonements while doing that, and then gripping that person in. Um, they don't actually need a grip, but it's just something that's pretty easy to do and just try to mitigate as much damage on that person as possible. Um, so, right now we go, I take the feather going across, making sure I spot heal as many people as possible. Um, I could have been healing Locky Swappy a whole lot earlier there rather than getting a smite out. That's something I am not the best with is while I'm doing my damage rotation, I should have to be using Power Shield pretty much on cooldown to increase the number of atonements I have out. That's one of my biggest faults, is not having atonements when I need them. Um, so as you can see there, we had the first uh, knockback from the tank. Um, I was in the soak group, and I did Radiance and Power Shield a few people there. I could have had more, I could have played at the lower ones and then Radiance, so I had about three to four more. Um, but that was, that was alright, the first one. Um, and then the next Violet Winds will be coming up here, and you'll see... I'm not prepared for this Violent Winds at all. So what I should be here be doing here is popping my Rapture, um, and then shielding the two groups, and then popping my power uh, Barrier down. Um, I Barrier, I, I use my Barrier kind of early, um, and then I cancel it before I actually click it, and then I put it down later. So that cost me about a global there, where I could have been getting some more uh, some more atonements out. So that wasn't the best. I didn't really do much healing during that Violent Winds, and that's when I need to be doing healing. So that's, that's one of the big things I'm going to look to improve to when we do run Feral next, is making sure I am applying those atonements um, before the Violent Winds comes out. So the boss is about to transition into the spider form. Um, and then we're back to what we're trying to do in Phase 2. So we're just pretty much making sure we have atonements on the tanks and making sure we're powered shielding the two webbed targets during the uh, the feeding time just so they don't get insta gibbed. So you can see here we're popping our Rapture for the feeding time, um, it would be more effective if I'm popping it during the Violent Winds because in this phase the feeding time isn't very deadly um, because there's less spiders on the ground. So one thing as well that I'm noticing is that I'm not using my Light's Wrath. Um, it's a free spell, it does a short cooldown, I should pretty much use it on cooldown um, unless there is an immediate ability coming up. Um, so I should have used it for the Violent Winds when they had them, but yet I've managed to hold on to it for about a minute for no reason. Um, I don't have um, Powered Shield on the boss right now, oh sorry, Shadowed Pain on the boss right now. I'm actually, in I'm actually interested to see what my uptime on this was. It shouldn't be too low, I think it's probably going to be about 80% or so, but I mean it should be 100% so that's always something I can improve on. Um, right now I need to make sure I am Powered Shielding 
our shaman. Um, I do call for the... There you go, I did actually power to shield him, so that was good. Um, and I did call for a life cocoon, because... Thank you, Blizz. Don't give your shadow... Don't give your priest a defensive cooldown. Um, it's, it's lovely. So, right now... Um, we're going back into the rock form, and there's going to be a winds knocking everybody back. Um, I am aware of this, and I should be powering shielding people, but I am. There's no timer for it, and this is quite a problem because I'm not prepared for this at all, and I have three atonements out during this phase. I think even less actually. So two, probably going to go down to one before it starts. So this is something I should have recognized. I was calling it out, but uh. Yeah, as you can see there, we had um, two deaths, two healer deaths to that. Uh, that's because they were standing too far out. But I'm sure that if if there was more atonements going out, that I would have done significantly more healing during that phase. Um, the damage isn't too bad if no one's too far out, but you know it's always good to be prepared just in case, like something like that happens. Um, so in this phase here, this is kind of the end of the fight for us. This this is our uh, probably one of our second times we actually got to this this. Um, phase here. We should be killing this on Sunday. So, um, this is kind of a new new sort of thing for us. So it's kind of, everything's, everything's going up out the wall now. Um, so we have one of our tanks just running around, making sure they pick up, pick up the ads, but, you know, our main tank gets, gets one shot pretty much. And everything's gone to shit. So, um, this is one thing I like to do is record myself and just, you know, go over what I do wrong. I think it's I think it's be very beneficial for um to recognize what I'm doing wrong and where where I can improve. Um, and I recommend pretty much anyone to do it too. You know, it's it's good to be able to go through logs and see what's happening, but it's it's a lot better to see if you can actually, you know, see what you're doing, where you're not casting, where you don't have um atonements out. Um and yeah, you know, be be very critical. So I, I always I always strive to do the best. The one thing I know I'm I'm pretty good at is making sure I'm using all my globals. Um, but the one thing I'm pretty bad at is preempting damage, which isn't really right because I am raid leaning and I am calling out all these mechanics. I'm just not thinking about what I need to do for them. So there you go. Um, I hope you enjoyed our attempt at Renferal. Um, Hopefully next week when we kill it and I release a kill video, maybe you'll see me improve on what I've said here. And hopefully I'll have atonements out on people that I uh, that need atonements on them while mechanics are going out. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.